My cousin was on the basketball team, <laughs> as well as homecoming court. Kind of a tomboy, a soft butch. She's married to a cop now. She wasn't a homecoming queen. She was on homecoming court. There's a difference. It means you're a little more accessible. <laughs> she had a perm and a waterbed, and she wore a perfume called X Cla May Shun. <laughs> the bottle was in the shape of a fat black exclamation point. The first time I had an orgasm, that shape appeared to me while I came. I didn't will it. It was a surprise. <laughs> it appeared in a psychological slideshow of images that my brain clicked through. All short, squat things, like a hamburger, a cupcake, a peach, a Charlie Chaplin hat, and then the exclamation point. <laughs> As I got closer and closer to my first orgasm, the exclamation point got fatter and fatter <laughs> until it exploded, which is the most exclamation point kind of thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> I really have a handle on grammar that way. In the fourth grade, I won the class spelling bee on the word grammar. Nobody could get that last A. They were doing stuff like G R A M M E R and G R A M M U R. I'm the one that got the A at the end. I was the new girl in school, so it was incredible to have that kind of platform. And the platform just got bigger and bigger. I won the school spelling bee on the word bountiful. And then I won the regional fourth grade spelling bee on the word thief. It was South Carolina, so you could win on easy words. Mm. 